what is up guys what's going on how y'all doing today uh back with a video for you guys and uh yeah i said i was gonna make a tutorial for the steam deck to do the dual boot setup and stuff for it um with my current windows and try to put add steam os that didn't work out too well and i can see why people have made videos on it uh, for those that's new to the channel, I have uh, been testing games out. I bought a Win 600 a long time ago, about a year, about a year and a half ago, and uh, the Win 600 stopped working on me. Um, after that, I ended up buying a Steam Deck with the money I, you know, earned to get it. Bought the Steam Deck, played Steam OS maybe for a week. Bought an SSD, put Windows on it, and been running Windows ever since. And I love the Windows side. Except for the lack of certain games I can't play on my Steam side of the game because for some reason because of the portrait uh, screen on the system, it, the resolution is messed up to them games and that's why, and then with the drivers not being on there as well. So I wanted to do Steam OS as like some partition, like two, three hundred gigabytes. I could not figure out a way to do it. I mean, I, I done went back, put Steam OS on the drive first, tried to do a new Windows, that didn't work. Partition didn't want to take the Windows side. Uh, went back, tried to copy my window side. I couldn't put a petition for the Steam OS. So I just kind of, it, it, it racked my brain something because I had to take the SSD out of the system at least 10 times. And I'm, I'm not exaggerating. I took it out at least 10 times. I put I took out the 512, the one that's the original Windows, and it just, for 10 times, that's that's too many times. The screws are starting to strip out. The back plate, I broke the back plate. I done recorded videos and I had to delete all the videos because there wasn't no point of keeping it because it, it, the process didn't work as easy as I thought it was going to be. So I ended up just keeping the um, two terabyte as a um, window side. Copied the 512, copied it. And as you can see, let me zoom in right quick. As you can see, one ter 1.86 terabytes. Anyway, so yeah, it's that's that's my Windows side. Now I was able to take all my other stuff on my other SD card that I had with my other files. Even I was able to move some of the stuff from the one terabyte SD card. And so as you can see, they're both healthy, not red anymore. So I mean, it helped out on the Windows side. But I still wanted to play SteamOS, and I'm like, well, I still want to be able to play my Sonic Frontiers and stuff. I bought this stuff. I can't play it. I mean, yeah, I can play Street Fighter and stuff, but you know, it's laggy and stuff on the side. On the main reason why I keep the Windows side for the games I modded, which I modded half of the PC games. I don't know why you see so many games, newer games on here. Um, but yeah, I'm like, eh, let me figure out something. So I ended up buying a um, enclosure during the process to see if I can try to, you know, convert stuff. Now I'm using the enclosure from the Steam side. And so, it's a solution for me, even though I bought a dock that was supposed to help that situation, and that didn't help either, because as uh, in the PC side, it, it really didn't help. Like, if I go back, I can't use the dock. It still says that error. I mean, it's, it's crazy that it's right here. This is the drive that's sitting in the back of the Steam Deck dock that I bought, but... It's not a JSO dog, it's not an off-brand version, it just don't work. So, I'm like, whatever. So, but I found another solution for me to work, um, and I used the enclosure. So now, I can go in and play Steam, my SteamOS stuff, and so I just have to go in and use the enclosure and, you know, so on and so forth. But, yeah, that's basically what happened with the 2 terabyte SSD dual boot. I was making videos for it tried I, I took three days to try to work on it couldn't figure it out for nothing um, so it just it just was a lot of a lot of BS so it just I, you know I tried to do my best on it whatever so but I am gonna show that it, it does run from the external side so I'm gonna go ahead and jump out the window side regardless of um, you know, I got my one drive trying to finish up the files, but I'm gonna go ahead and shut the Steam Deck down, and then I'm gonna head to the Steam OS side and show you that I did get the Steam OS working with it, but it has to stay docked, sadly. Alright, so window side stays on the inside. I can take the window side out, uh, the Steam Deck off the dock now since I got everything on the one system. So I can now use the Steam Deck as a handheld like it's supposed to be. But for me to play my Steam OS side, I have to go into my boot manager. 
and I have to click on which is the 64 gigabytes that is the SteamOS side. So I'm gonna go in, go through the SteamOS side, but this is the Steam Deck Eternal 64 gigabyte SSD that I've had in the system originally with the same three games I had on the Honey Pop and all that. Don't worry about Honey Pop, this whole. Anyway, uh, as you can see, there's my SSD one terabyte, the Dogfish, um, which is the one terabyte that I was using. Why it's called Dogfish, I don't have no clue. Here's my two terabyte SSD, still intact. It say 1.9 out of 1.9, but long as I don't mess with it, it's not gonna mess with. Mess with. Uh, so I'm gonna try to see if I can take my uh, controller, my Xbox controller, and see if we can. Bluetooth it right quick to it. So we're gonna I'm gonna uh, do this so I can make sure I had the SSD so I can put the other games on here. So I have an SSD instead of I had that my micro SD card. Um, but I'm gonna use that for the tablet because I got tablet videos for the, uh, for you guys. So I'm uh, uh, games and stuff since I don't see nobody else making videos for the S9 uh, FE version. So we're gonna do that. But yeah. As you can see, I got my Steam Deck. I can still play my Steam OS. And, um, okay, look like the dogfish is done. Yep, so there we go. Alright, so, yeah, I'm gonna have to go back and do some more tweaking on the Steam OS side because for some reason it's giving me the same issue when I just played the My Hero the other day um, on here and it played just fine. No issues. For some reason, keep giving me the face. Same fader error that I was getting. On the Windows side, which is weird, so maybe because it's not in the Steam Deck itself, that's why. But either way, um, I see GameStop does have some steep, cheaper Steam Decks. I'm thinking I might get one from them because it's 200 and some dollars. You can't really beat that, and it's cheaper. And I could just that way I can have two and I don't have to keep fighting with this situation process. So I might go with that option, but for right now, until I get some money because I'm kind of broke right now. Um, maybe with tax season I might get something I might not if tax season I get something I'm getting the Rock Ally or Legion Go or something else I don't want to buy another Steam Deck um, not saying that you, sh that you shouldn't because the Steam Deck is really nice uh, especially if you don't mess with it so much if you do know what you're doing yeah mess with it get it running better and stuff like that yeah but if you don't know what you're doing be careful with it but um yeah, so I'm going to end the video here. I got to do a lot of editing through this video um, because it didn't kind of work out the way I wanted it to, to. But that's just part of life. Stuff don't always work out the way, you know. It just don't. Not always. But uh, I hope you guys still enjoyed the video. If you did, thumbs up, share, like, and subscribe. Um, if there are any questions you guys have or any answers that you can guys can answer in the comments about how to get the dual boot on my Windows side it's SSD because I still got 100 gigabytes I can give to SteamOS. Um, let me know in the comments if there's anything you guys want to see me run on the SteamOS side or try to work, you know, get it working where I can try to get some videos for it. Let me know as well. Um, but yeah, I'm going to leave it alone because my head hurting already dealing with this. And uh, yeah, but I do got some tablet videos on the way coming up soon. So yeah, so I uh, hope you guys have a wonderful day. And uh, until the next video, I appreciate you guys for watching. Peace.